generally in coordinate geometry we see questions where we are supposed to find number of integral points that is the number of points having both the coordinates as integers lying inside a triangle formed by the coordinate axis and a given line. Today we wish to explore if there is any general formula for number of integral points lying on or inside a circle which is of the form x square plus y square is equal to a square where a belongs to positive integer. Now what I'll do is first I'll explore all the points with integral coordinates that lie on x axis which lie on or inside this given circle. So what I know is this point it is a comma 0 and this point will be minus a comma 0. So starting from 1 comma 0 all the way up to a comma 0. So these a points will lie on or inside the circle and in the same way the point starting from minus 1 comma 0 to minus a comma 0 again these a points will lie on and inside the circle and then I'll have this point which is origin which will also lie on x axis. So number of integral points on x axis which lie on or inside the circle is given by 2a plus 1. Now I'll find number of integral points on this line y equals to 1. I'll put the value of y in the given equation. So if I'll put value of y as 1, I'll get the value of x as under root of a square minus 1 square and that is plus and minus. So this point of intersection will be under root of a square minus 1 square comma 1 and here will be minus under root of a square minus 1 square comma 1. So now I need to count all the integral points which lie on the right hand side of y axis and which lie on or inside the circle. So it will start from 1 comma 1. So all I need to do is I just need to count these points and I'll include this point if it is integer and if not I'll count a point which is just before this point lying inside the circle with integral coordinate of x axis. So number of such points will be given by greatest integer function of under root of a square minus 1 square and we'll have as many number of points on the left hand side also and then there'll be this one point that will lie on y axis. Number of integral points on y equals to 1 line is given by 2 times under root of a square minus 1 square greatest near function and then plus 1. Now what about this y equals to minus 1 line? Now symmetry in the problem clearly shows that as many the number of points on y is equal to 1 line as many will be the number of points on y equals minus 1 line. So number of integral points on y equals to minus 1 line will be same. So there will be twice greatest integer function of a square minus 1 square plus 1. Now what about y equals to 2 line? Again everything will be same. It's just that this point of intersection now will be under root of a square minus 2 square. So number of integral points lying on y equals to 2 or for that matter y is equal to minus 2 also is given by twice greatest integer function of under root of a square minus 2 square and then plus 1 and will go all the way up to number of integral points on the line y equals to a. So if I add them all together I can find number of integral points. So if I will add them then total number of integral points on or inside the circle is given by so points on x axis so there will be 2a plus 1 and then points on the line y equals to 1 2 into greatest integer function of a square minus 1 square plus 1 and I will multiply it with 2 because I will also consider the points on y is equal to minus 1 line and then again 2 into points on 
y is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 2 2 times greatest integer function of under root of a square minus 2 square plus 1 and it will continue it will continue up to 2 into under root of a square minus a minus 1 whole square plus 1 and then finally the points on y is equal to a line so there will be just 2 points now if I will add them then I will get this as 2a and then it will be 2 plus 2 plus 2 and then plus 2 a times so there will be 4a and then plus 1 and plus so I will multiply it so I will get this as 4 into greatest integer function of a square minus 1 square plus greatest integer function of a square minus 2 square and will go all the way up to greatest integer function of a square minus a minus 1 whole square. So I can simply write it as 4a plus 1 plus 4 times summation r varies from 1 to a minus 1 and this is greatest integer function of a square minus r square. So this is the number of integral points lying on or inside a circle which is x square plus y square is equal to a square where a is any positive integer. Now using this formula can we find number of integral points lying just inside the circle not on the circle. Now if I had to find number of integral points lying inside and not on the circle so what I will do is from this formula I need to subtract these four points a comma 0 minus a comma 0 0 comma a and 0 comma minus a so that is if I'll subtract 4 from 4a minus 1, I'll get it as 4a minus 3. And now for this second part, when I have this greatest integer function, so if we have any expression inside greatest integer function, which is an integer, in each of this case, I'll need to subtract minus 2 from the given total. So let us take up an example. Suppose we have to find number of integral points lying on or inside the circle x square plus y square is equal to 9 and in this case the value of a is 3. So total number of such points on or inside the circle is given by 4a plus 1 plus 4 times summation r varies from 1 to a minus 1 greatest integer function of a square which is 9 minus r square. So now what I'll do is, I'll put the value of a in the formula. So if I'll put the value of a, I'll get this is 4 into 3 plus 1 plus 4 into summation. R varies from 1 to a minus 1, which is 2. And this is greatest integer function of under root of 9 minus r square. So this is 12 plus 1 and then plus 4 into. Now if I'll put the value of r as 1, I'll get it as greatest integer function of under root 8 and plus if I'll put value of r as 2 I'll get it as 9 minus 4 which is under root of 5 so this is 13 and plus 4 into greatest integer function of under root 8 so under root 8 is 2 root 2 so there'll be 2 point something so it is 2 and then under root 5 is also 2 point something so this is again 2 so this is 16 16 plus 13 29 now suppose I have to find total number of integral points which lie inside the circle. Now in case we have to find total number of points lying inside the circle so what I'll need to do I'll just need to subtract these four points so it'll be 29 minus 4 and then for every expression within the greatest integral function with an integral value minus 2. So when I see these two greatest integral function none of the expression inside greatest integer function is an integer. So answer in this case will be simply 25 points. So there will be 25 points with integral coordinates that will lie inside this given circle. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist 
and select the topic you wish to study.